The most outstanding feature about television is the tremendous variety of kicks. Kid tested. Ah! Mother approved. So Red Bull gives you wings. Mentos, the fresh make. Back in the lab jackets again. We're back. We are. Uh, what, what's going on here? You told me to wear them like this. Look, this looks ridiculous. I know you need your safety glasses, but come on now. Are those regulation? Yes. Okay, we'll use that. All right. We've got this item right here. It is the Buzz Lightyear Interactive Watch. Now, I know for our return video this seems a little lame, but trust me when I say this could be the most entertaining, the most fun thing that we've ever reviewed on this show. Chris, go ahead and read that out for All me. All right, let's look what we got. Disney Lightyear Watch. Interactive Watch. Let's see what we have. Clock faces, wallpapers, alarms, Kelly Burner, distance tracker, memos, and a calendar. But you're going really basic here, Chris. This also has a dual camera, videos, games, voice recorder, album viewer, and you can play your favorite music on it, all for the low, low cost of $30. By the way, I didn't pay $30 for it. An important thing to note, do not dispose batteries in fire, because batteries may explode or leak. Oh! Do not try to replace the battery. Huh? Really? Send to service center for replacements, so you need to call a specialist to replace your battery. Discontinue use if immersed in water. Oh! What? What are you doing? I'm testing the water scenario. It said don't use if submerged in water. I wasn't going to submerge it. I'm just going to... You know, wet the thing. Want to find out what happens? Well, no, not really, because since it is on me, but you never know. Electrocution. Look, we finally just got you out of the hospital. Let's not put you back in. Yeah, at least not for a while. But I do have insurance now. Good. Yeah. Do not wear if case back is missing or disassembled, which is really important. Suitable for those children ages six and up. It may be a choking hazard. Not intended for small parts under three years old, which means the ages of four and five. Sorry, you're kind of stuck in limbo until you turn six. So now that we got the important information out of the way, I guess it's time to crack open this bad boy and let's see what we're dealing with. That's called litter. We have an instruction manual with a USB port. The micro USB port, which is, I guess, okay. Most people are using Type C nowadays. Right. But I digress. This is plastic. A very cheap rubber. Remember, kids, never use a cheap rubber. I can't even get it out of this part. I'm going to rip it. See, this is why you have your safety glasses, kids. That could have cut me in the eye. And I guess you remove this sticky part here. And what we got here is a cheap looking junk. Charge three hours before use. Note, screen may be blank while charging for one hour. Do not charge for more than three hours or overnight as it may weaken the battery's life. So, are we going to have to wait, or does it come pre-charged? Let's find out. I would hope it would come pre-charged. Usually, they do. Got your USB slot, and I guess we can hold this down. So, after waiting the three hours that this thing needed to charge because it didn't come charged pre out of the package, that already gets a disapproving on me. 
power it up, see what it looks like, and uh, test this bad boy out. Buzz Lightyear! I wish it said that. But... <laughs> it's 1.04 a.m. in 2022. Storage. Hey, go back. This thing says it has a card in it. Well, I'll be damned. We need to test that. So, we're going to find out if it has a card in it or not. Disclaimer. This is not a medical device. Did anybody say it was? Oh, it's because it can check your heart rate and stuff. Yeah. And now the reveal. Here's our battery. Well, let's read the instruction on this thing. Holy crap. What do you got there, my Walmart receipt? It looks more like Mr. Beast is after he goes shopping. Good grief. You're seeing it too, right? Yeah. So it makes me wonder, you think we can upgrade this bad boy? We could probably upgrade this thing if we really wanted to, but the question is, do you want to invest in that? More power. Was it really necessary to add 56 gigabytes to that wristwatch? No, but we can do it, therefore we did. So now, we get to test some of the features of this first watch and see how that goes over. First, the games. This is our test subject, Steven. Steven, you will be playing video games on our wristwatch today. How do you feel? Awesome! <laughs> 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 That's automatically shooting. So, Stephen, how was your gaming experience? First one was, mm, it was about a 3 out of 10. Second one I give 10 out of 10. Third one I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that he's tested out the games, I think we should fool around with it just a little bit more. This thing has a flashlight on it. Really? Hey, turn that thing on. Oh. I can do Morse code. It's not very bright light, but... No, but it's still right up in your eye, though. It's not cool. It's time to test out the video camera. About time. Let's do it. Think about it, though. 26 megabytes this thing originally had. What kind of video are you going to be recording? Who knows? Not any. But we added 64 gigs in here, so... Should work. Yeah. You guys will now see the footage right here. Well, after fiddling around with this thing, I've made some interesting discoveries. Like what? Well, first things first, the reason why it stopped working, apparently in order to charge it, you have to have it powered on. But in order to have it powered on, you have to charge it. And then to top it off, in order to connect it to the computer, you have to have it powered off. But in order to access the files, you have to power it back on. You know, for the kids. Yeah, this is turning out to be less of a kid toy, more of an annoying adult toy. It's science! Yes. Okay, there we go. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children, ladies? That's Chris. Oh my god. Mm. I'm on a watch. I'm on a watch, too. There's Steven. Somewhere over there. How do? And, uh, so I hope this quality is the greatest and best quality in the world. I feel like Alfred on the Bat Watch. Alfred, you need to call the Joker. 
Two Face is here. <laughs> Harvey, where's Two Face? Harvey, where's Two Face? <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God. He's got a gun pointed at Gordon Kid. <laughs> this is the side camera. My goodness, the lag. Imagine playing a video game at five frames a second. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Steven again. Somewhere there. There we go. I got him. I got him. We're okay. We got him on camera. Well, now we tested some features. Let's test out music. It has one song on it, your favorite. Is there a way to turn it up? Is this button? Yeah, positive. Yeah. There we go. I mean, it's not loud. It's not loud, but it's not bad. Not distorted. That's that's clear. No, I don't see anything. I hear something though. Action. Mm. That doesn't work. It must have to be converted into a very, very specific format. Action. I thought you told me he wore velcro. You have to speak up a little bit too. <laughs> Upset. Don't whisper sweet nothings in his ear. <laughs> all in all, not too bad. Yeah, but we didn't test out the other stuff. Well, like the speedometer and calculator and stuff like that. How can you mess that up? You never know nowadays. That's fine, Chris. You can test the speedometer. Get to stepping. Is it calculating? Jack. <laughs> oh wait, wait, hang on. I get some. Thirty steps. Yeah, it's calculating now, boys. Car. How many steps was that? Well, at least the watch was safe. Well, I'm not. I'm in traction. Look, you're okay looking, but you're not that attractive. Screw you. You think we should take him to a hospital? Nah, he'll be fine within 24 hours. Yeah, well, get you, you got your new insurance. You should be covered. Yeah, you're lucky by that. Yeah, and hey, and your safety glasses were perfectly intact, too. Hell, the damn safety glasses. So, thoughts on the watch? Worth $30? No, four thirty dollars now. No. What would you pay? Ten, fifteen, most. Yeah, roughly. Ten, fifteen. I bought this for ten dollars. Now there are some real bad downsides to it, such as you actually have to turn off the watch to connect your computer, turn on your watch to charge it, which is kind of a pain. Only specific file sizes and file information works on it. And so if you're looking for like a basic thing, it's fine. If you're like me, who's like really technical about these stuff, eh, it's a hit or miss. So, but it's not really false advertisement. It does everything it says it can do. Yep. So, yeah. it's truth. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Plain and simple. I guess I'm keeping this. Uh, best of luck. Ow! You're lucky I'm neck strong. I should also point out the obvious. It tells time.